Hey everyone, welcome back. It's great to have you with us for another deep dive, especially you. Yeah, you listening. We heard it's your first hurricane season down here in Florida. Well, welcome to the Sunshine State. Hope you're ready for an interesting ride, meteorologically speaking. Well said. Mm. And speaking of interesting rides, we've been looking into Hurricane Milton, and there's a lot to unpack, especially some of the insights from Andy Parr over at the Gadget Guru that really caught our eye. Right. His take on the potential impact on Tampa Bay and the Disney World area, yeah, we definitely want to dig into that. You got it. So he's been tracking Milton pretty closely, and, um, well, it's not looking like a day at the beach, is it? Tampa Bay is right there in the cone of uncertainty. Yeah, and it could be a Cat 2 or even a Cat 3 by the time it gets here. See, this is what I'm talking about. Our listeners are probably thinking, Cat 2, Cat 3. Can we uh, maybe break down this whole hurricane category thing? Oh, for sure. So it's called the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale, officially. But nobody really calls it that in casual conversation. Right? Anyway, it's basically a one to five ranking. One being the, meh, not so bad, and five being run for the hills. Basically, the higher you go, the faster the wind speeds. Anything cat three or above, you're looking at major hurricane territory. Serious damage potential. Gotcha. And, and speaking of categories, did you know that a hurricane actually has a more dangerous side? It does. Depending on, like, which way it's going? That's absolutely true. And, you know, the direction that the hurricane is moving really matters. So think of this. The right side of the storm, that's your right if you're facing it, that gets the combined force of the hurricane's winds plus its forward motion. Ooh, double whammy. Yeah, like walking on an escalator that's going in your direction. It amplifies everything. The left side, on the other hand, that's more like walking against the flow. Still not fun, but definitely not as intense. So if I'm picturing this in my head, right, it's like, the hurricane's spinning, but that right side is also where it's like pushing forward the most. Bullseye. Extra oomph on that side. Exactly. That's why, in general, the right side of a hurricane packs a way bigger punch. It's not to say the left side is a walk in the park, but if you're on the right and the storm's moving towards you, brace yourself. Now, Parr also mentioned this whole central pressure thing, and I'll be honest, that one kind of went over my head. It sounds scarier than it is, honestly. Basically, the lower the air pressure in the eye of the hurricane, the stronger it is. Okay, so lower is lower is stronger. And and think about it like this, right? So so lower pressure means more air is rushing into the center of the storm. Yeah. And that makes it more powerful, that swirling, that motion. It's like imagine a figure skater, right? Mm -hmm. When they pull their arms in, they spin faster. Okay. Yeah. Same concept. So lower the pressure, faster the spin, the bigger the party the hurricane's having. And trust me, you do not want to be invited to this party. This is good stuff for our listener, especially being new here. So let's say, worst case scenario, Milton goes full Florida on us. What are we talking about here? What should people be most worried about? Okay, so number one, wind. We've talked about the wind speed categories, but even a weaker hurricane can knock down trees, power lines, you name it. Then you got the rain. Florida's pretty flat, so flooding is always a concern. Yeah, especially with all the canals and stuff. It's not like the water's got anywhere to go. Exactly. And then there's storm surge. Which uh, Andy Parr mentioned that Tampa Bay is especially vulnerable to. Right. What exactly is storm surge? It's like a giant wave, except instead of crashing down, it just keeps coming. The hurricane's wind pushes the ocean water towards the shore. Tampa Bay, with its shape and shallow water, it's like a perfect storm surge magnet. Yikes. And it's not like everyone in Florida lives on the coast, right? There's Orlando with Disney World and everything. Exactly. And that's where things get really interesting. Disney World is huge. Think of all the hotels, the parks, the transportation. A big storm hits. You've got thousands of people potentially stranded. That's a whole other can of worms. A can of worms with Mickey Mouse ears on it, maybe? <laughs> well, folks... There you have it, our deep dive into Hurricane Milton with a little help from the Gadget Guru. Listen, we know it can be overwhelming, but that's why we're here to help you navigate your first hurricane season. Stay safe out there. 